Today I will show you 6 Minecraft mushroom things to add to your world and if you enjoy, like and subscribe. Number 1, this beautiful mushroom bed. So what we're going to do is break these 6, 7 blocks right here. We're going to place a lantern one block away from where we're going to be placing these banners. Place them in like that and then put the smooth quartz slabs right there. Now we're going to be taking red beds. You're going to go to the side like this and place two beds exactly where I place them. Then turn around and place the same beds where those beds aren't. Now we're going to place two more beds. And you see now we've got this beautiful big bed. Let's go ahead and take diorite walls. We're going to build them up four high in all four corners of the bed. See, we're just going to go to the back and build them up. And now we are going to take iron trapdoors. We're going to build them. We're going to go all the way around with those iron trapdoors. And then, you see, we're just going to go around placing the iron trapdoors. Place them slowly. They're really hard to break if you're in survival. So now you can either put in red stained glass or you could go ahead and put iron trapdoors like the rest of it. I think that this looks good, but I prefer the iron trapdoors. This is what it looks like. I feel like it looks really natural and the other one is a bit more glammed up. What do you think? Mushroom villages. I love mushrooms in Minecraft and I wanted to reimagine what a Minecraft mushroom village looked like. So I even put a little aquarium in. We have a little wheat field so the farmer villager can still do his thing and we have a couple of little brown mushroom village houses as well as a really pretty little red one. So now let me teach you how to build the Minecraft brown mushroom house. We're going to go around, we're going to place three oak plank in a circle shape and we are going to build them three high. Now we're going to take the brown mushroom and we are going to exactly mirror the pattern down below. So what we are going to do is we're going to build every side one out and then make sure to fill in those corners. So there we go. And then we're just going to fill in the roof as well. And then this is what it looks like. I love it so much. It kind of looks like a Oreo sandwich. Maybe I'm just hungry. <laughs> um... But let's go ahead and put the windows. I think I'm just hungry. Let's go ahead and put the windows in though. I used white panes. Now we're going to put the door in here. We're going to take an oak fence and put it up there. And then we're going to go in the inside. Place the light blue bed. Place a chest or place whatever you want here. This really doesn't matter. This is just how I chose to furnish it. And then I placed a little pot with a red mushroom. Oh, of course, we need to put in lighting. And then we are going to go ahead and put in the door. And then it adds depth from the front of it, which I love. You see how much depth it adds? So you don't fall off. You're going to place exactly how I did. Place one at the same level as the brown mushroom. Place one on top of that. And then exactly like I did it. And it'll make you safe when you're walking around. Otherwise, you can fall. Off. And I wouldn't want you taking fall damage. So here we go. I'm going to use chain to add the sides together. But be careful, you can take a little fall damage because you can step on chain. But you can also use fences or fence gates if you prefer to be a little bit more secure in your world. So here we go. We're going to do it just like that. This house, aside from these chains, are pretty cheap. So, of course, you can go ahead and use those fence or fence gates um, to make the overall cost of this house a bit cheaper. Gonna, I'm going to take the mushroom and just pull it downwards and then put a ladder on it. If you're in survival and you don't have a silk touch pickaxe yet, you can use you can use white stained glass. And now let me just show you what it would look like with the fences. That's what it looks like. So our next tip is we're going to take an acacia tree, bone meal it. Now we have the acacia tree and we are going to replace all the acacia leaves with Minecraft mushroom blocks. And what it does is it allows you to get this really, really nice, natural Minecraft mushroom shape. So I love this tip so much. It's not mine, though. It's from Reddit. I'm going to link the original Reddit post down below. So you can go and show the original creator of this idea your love. If he has a YouTube, I'm going to link it down below, but I, I don't think that they do. Doesn't this look absolutely amazing? 
I love this trick so much and I'm so happy that I saw it on Reddit. So this is one of my favorite things to do in Minecraft. You remove the red mushroom blocks and then you go ahead and replace it with the red stained glass panes. And what that does is it lets you make this beautiful glass mushroom. I think that it looks so cool. It looks like the trees from the Lorax. It looks so, so unique. You can do this with other colors if you want to make a an, an Lorax inspired tree. Isn't the Lorax such a great movie though? It's one of the cutest movies and I absolutely adore it. And as for the inside, underneath what we're going to do is we are going to replace the mushroom stem for those glass blocks and then we're going to take spruce fences. You have to crouch for this. Don't make the same mistake I did. And then pull them forward. Crouch in place. There we go. And then go around to the back and add that one slab that you're missing and then remove the extra slabs that you had to place to put those slabs up. Now let's put a ladder. I'm going to go ahead and put a bed in this upper right corner. A crafting table here. Make sure to crouch. You have to crouch to place. And then we're going to go ahead and place a little anvil. You could add different things if that's what you prefer, but I think it looks really cool. The white stained glass pane if you just want to make it very easily and simple. Stained glass. And you can even go ahead and make it look fully like a mushroom. But doesn't this look so cool? Now, this trick is really cute and really simple. You just take an end rod and a mushroom. That's it. You can also use a brown mushroom. And if you don't have end rods in your world, you can use a birch fence. This is what the red mushroom looks like with the bridge fence. So the next thing coming up is this beautiful mushroom carpet. So what we're going to do is we are going to take the red carpet and place four. One, two, three, four. Now we're going to go down and place one extra on both sides. Then we're going to go down another row and only place an extra on the left side. Let's expand one down on the left side. And then we are also going to put one extra on the right side as well. Let's just continue this another row down. I also have a build guide on Twitter if this is confusing, I'm really sorry. Now we're gonna take the white and we're gonna put the mushroom spots on it. So just, you can do what I did right here, or you can just do it yourself in a position that you'd prefer the spots to be in. But now you need to replace these three middle tiles. And what we're gonna do is that's going to be the base of the mushroom like the underside and now just put the pattern like that it's a square with one missing in the lower right corner and do the same with the red now we put the last finishing touches and then that little white section is the underneath of the mushroom now we're going to go ahead and put the brown carpet the brown carpet represents the stem of the mushroom and then just follow the pattern that I'm making. I feel like it's a pretty easy pattern, but I do have the more in-depth build guide over on my Twitter. Let's go ahead and place these pieces down. You just follow the mushroom. It's very organic. You don't have to follow the shape. It's building in Minecraft. Nothing that you can do be wrong. And this is what we have. I hope you like it. That's all for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you made it to the end, comment our secret emoji. That's going to be the sunflower emoji. And if you want to follow me on other social media sites or join my Discord, they're linked down below in the description. I hope you enjoyed. Have a lovely day. And you can watch this other video that I made if you click here.